other show I'm looking forward to is Smash, which is a musical style show. I guess it'd kind of be like a grown up Glee, but a lot better. Because I can't stand Glee. But Smash is awesome. It stars Catherine McPhee and Megan Hilty. And it's a musical about Marilyn Monroe. And Catherine McPhee gets to play Marilyn Monroe. And she's an amazing singer, you know, obviously from American Idol and everything. And also on the show, they have Deborah Messing and Angelica Houston, which is awesome. The new season, it isn't being picked up again until mid-season, which is when it started last time, so it's after the winter break. Which kind of sucks to me. They should have it on a fall fall premiere as well, but what can you do? And they said this new season, season two, is going to have Jennifer Hudson on it. But I don't like Jennifer Hudson. I wish it was Jordan Sparks instead. But the music on the show is really interesting because... I love Catherine McPhee, I already said that, but Megan Hilty is a really good singer too. And I really like the Bollywood style song they had on there called A Thousand and One Nights. It was very, you know, unique. Okay, this brings me to the music, music segment of this. I'm looking forward to Kesha's new album, which comes out this season. It's called Spandex on the Distant Horizon, I think. I I really like Kesha, even though a lot of people don't or say she can't sing. I've heard all the different demos out there. She has like 200 unreleased songs. You can find them on YouTube that show that she really can't sing without the autotune. So she said this album, she's dropping some of the autotune. It's not going to be the same electro dance pop kind of style it was before. She's going to go more rock and roll with this album. And the best actual album I've heard recently, well, it actually came out a few months ago, was Kelly Clarkson's, her new album, Stronger. Doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Which there is not a song on that album I do not like. And actually, I think Kelly Clarkson's voice has gotten a lot better since American Idol. It's pretty much I can relate to almost all of Kelly Clarkson's music. It's just she's amazing. I say amazing a lot, don't I? Well, only use it when I mean it. <laughs> Carrie Underwood, her new album came out recently. I liked the songs in this order, the best songs were Blown Away, Good Girl, Leave Love Alone, and Cuba's Got a Shotgun. But that's pretty much all I liked off that album. It's just so haunting and amazing. There's that word again, amazing. Think about Victorious. Victorious obviously stars Victoria Justice. It always revolves around Tori, Victoria Justice. And the thing is, the other cast members can sing too, and they should give them a shot. Because, I mean, Ariana Grande. I really like her. And there was this one song that came out on the Victorious 2.0 soundtrack called Shut Up and Dance. And on the actual TV show, where they have the cast singing with Victoria, it's a lot better than the actual studio version they put out where it's just Victoria. Because it sounds like... They let the other cast members sing back up, but they auto-tuned them to sound like Victoria, and it just, it's like, why bother? Let the others have some individuality as well, because everyone's voice is different. And you Ariana Grande, you can really hear her part in Shut Up and Dance, and she's just really good. Also, I know that everyone, I mean everyone, must have heard the song Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen. I really like that song. And she's a really good singer. I listened to her EP. And pretty much every song on that EP is good. Another underrated singer, I think, is Candace Akla from The Vampire Diaries. She plays Caroline. And before she got The Vampire Diaries, she actually sang backup on Miley Cyrus's tour for Hannah Montana. 
and Candace Ackla actually had her own CD out. Now you know I'm not like some girls. She is a really good singer. She's much better than Miley Cyrus. So yeah, I just wish that some of these other stars that can sing could get some recognition. I guess that's all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!